assessment, which is the most important thing about the PT, uh, which is highly transparent. Now, what does it mean that one? Like, for example, if you look at the IELTS exam, lot of people, I mean so many people, or maybe most of the people, they have complained several times to me. What's that one? They don't get good mark in writing. They don't get good mark in writing. Their uh, listening is perfect, speaking is perfect, and reading is also good, but not in writing. They can't uh, easily get eight in writing. Seven, ah, very tough, very tough, easily. Uh, very few can uh, adopt that one. Eight, quite impossible. And that sense, and in this scenario, a lot of people blame the examiner because there is some power of the examiner. Although each and every task were cross text by at least minimum two uh, examiner. Now, in PT, there is no involvement of any examiner. The software will sort out the answer, and the, for each task, there is a sub criteria. If you fulfill that criteria, 101 percent you will get the full mark. That's the only reason so many people get 90 out of 90, which is equivalent to IELTS 9 out of 9 in writing. That's not exceptional, that's a common scenario. That's the only because, for I'm telling you, like in IELTS, in the same setting, each and everyone get the same question paper. Clear? So like for example, I follow, uh, there is a renowned writer, is a, uh, what's his name, is Ryan, Ryan. I follow his writing procedure for the essay writing. So for example, a essay turned up, an essay turned up and you and I wrote the same thing from the Ryan, we will not get good mark. Although that is equivalent to nine band, because he is the be one of the best instructors in the world. We should have got nine out of nine, or maybe eight, but what do we got? seven or six and a half as because we copied from someone else here in pt the machine will not justify like this it will justify it's just correct in all manner that's the only reason they can give you the mark full mark another thing about the pt uh, because there is no chance in the same setting each and every uh, candidate will get the same question as because it is machine based your question will be 100 percent different so you have to be self-independent instead of depending upon someone else you cannot poke someone else please can you tell me this answer you can't do that one which is quite common scenario in IELTS in IELTS but here you can't do that one clear so for PT yes it is true that's the only reason I always tell it is a advanced teaching system not the conventional way not the Conventional means quite primitive way, what it was before, pen and paper thing, uh, then uh, same question paper. So that's why we, sometimes we may depend upon someone else, well, you, you are very good at this one, I, I'm very good at this one. This one is very transparent and very, very projective and very advanced. Advanced means you have to be depending upon your own self, your own caliber. You should not rely upon someone else. So that's, that's all about PT. PT, the preparation about PT, if you want to take preparation about PT, there's a lot of uh, material at this moment, but still I should say there is uh, heaps of material, a lot of people, a lot of people follow the YouTube material, YouTube material. I'm not saying that all those materials are invalid. No, I should not be saying that one, but yes, there is some gaffe because different uh, instructors, different opinion, you get puzzled, you get puzzled. Oh my God, I heard this one from this. So you should maintain the book first then go for that one. You, start, you should start from the beginning, then go for the advanced one. And in the book, in the book, sometimes it is also true that in the book it is not clearly instructed how the machine will assess you, how the machine will assess you, each and every subclass, but it is uh, in the book, it is detailed, each and every subclass of that one, each and every subclass. For example, in essay, in essay the maximum mark is 15, very transparent. But here, the 15 mark will be divided upon or look for Seven, seven skills, seven skills, then content, form, development of a structure, then uh, uh, what's that one, grammar, spelling, then um, vocabulary, and final one is, if I'm not wrong, is that one, is the general linguistic. So seven skills, each skills has a specific mark. So the machine will go for like this, and there is a set of skills, like form and content, these, these two skills are in set A, set B, set C. So if you want to uh, put, pull off your mark in set B and set C, you have to make sure that set E is perfect. If you don't do that, set C, uh, set B and set C will be gone. 
So these are the very transparent instruction for the PTE. So while you'll be writing, you have to be technically advanced. Now, still I do say, sometimes I do say, maybe PT is not uh, suitable for all of the people, but why I do say that one? It's true, there's the honest answer. We do that one. For example, my father, my father, who is, uh, whose age is around 65, 70. Now he is not very good at the IT thing, computer thing, so he can't do that one. So he will prefer PT, but not for us. We are very good at typing. So we should take risks, we are advanced more than them. That's why I prefer for our generation, I prefer always PT. And for them, let them to decide. If they think like, well, we can adapt that one. It's very, uh, very good. I think it's understandable. Now, why this PT exam should be accepted? Primary thing is uh, at this moment, PT is accepted across the globe too. It's true for the academic purpose, more or less in every country. A lot of people, uh, I think two or three years ago, two or three years ago, more, a lot of people are saying that one. In Canada, PT is not accepted for academic purpose. Academic purpose, I should say that one. But now the situation has changed. Like for example, I'm telling you the Vezina, University of Vezina. If you apply over there, there's some online form. You need to fill up that one. Over the, in, in the online form, you cannot see there is an option for the PT. But in their uh, criteria, it is mentioned. In the requirement, it is mentioned that your PT score will be uh, accepted. So what you need to do, what I have done, what lots of people, I suggest lots of people to do that one, just send them a mail stating that, well, in your online form, your PTA, there is no option for the PTA exam, so I uh, was unable to include my mark over there. What they will say you, well, please send me your result by mail. We'll include that one. So these are the, so you, need, you have to be very communicative at this moment, but maybe in two or three months later, it would be changed. 100% it would be changed because things are changing now. If you look at the uh, origination of uh, IELTS 30 years before, PT 2009, so quite, quite tender. We are quite tender, but we are accelerating faster. If not in Bangladesh, look at Australia. Lots of people, are, they, don't, they don't even think about IELTS except PT. Because it is fast, fair. So what else you need? You are putting down your 15,000 or perhaps more than 15,000 taka and you are uncertain of your result. You don't even know how you will be evaluated. So that's the transparency PT will give you. That's the transparency it is it actually now offering. I don't know later on what would be should be changed in, but at this moment it is the fact. It is the fact. Now for the immigration purpose, for the immigration purpose, at this moment only Australia and New Zealand are accepting PT for immigration purpose. But uh, Pearson themselves are working very very hard to push this one to push the boundary beyond these two zones. They are trying to collaborate with uh, Canada. Hopefully, maybe within two years, three years, hopefully it will be done. So you can, a lot of people uh, who wants to immigrate for Canada, Canada for skill uh, visa, maybe they, they can appear for the PT, uh, PT exam, inshallah, for two years. And what is about the uh, PT, PT? Uh,